I am in Paris getting a tour of the world's largest startup campus. Station F is home to 1,000 startups along with corporations, investors, and organizations. The space spans more than 360,000 square feet, while the building itself measures 190 feet by 1,017 feet. That makes Station F nearly as long as the Eiffel Tower. A desk here costs $235 on average per month, a figure about half as much as other co-working spaces in Paris. But don't just call it co-working. Station F hopes to be considered a sort of startup university. And to work here, you have to apply through one of the incubator or startup programs hosted by various organizations and companies. You see a lot of the biggest tech company names like Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon. But it's not just tech companies either. You'll also find retail, luxury, and other types of industries. This is Homeric. He returned to France in 2015 after living in China as an expat. He's now working for an augmented reality company called Bear, and it's based in Station F. So French is a small market. We're only 68 million. But if you find this market, you can develop a good SME and have a recurrent revenues, which will help you finance a growth in the US or somewhere else. The goal here isn't only to create the largest startup campus in the world under one roof, but also to put France at the forefront of the international startup map. The vision of Station F was backed by telecom billionaire Xavier Niel, who's poured $285 million into the project. The space is a former train depot that's now been designed into three separate sections, share, create, and chill. The share space is where events take place along with private offices and on-site services. It's hosted the likes of Facebook's Sheryl Sandberg and French President Emmanuel Macron. A little bit underground, you have these lockers where people can store their stuff overnight and they're along the same lines as where the train tracks used to be. The middle section is called Create, where it's exclusively for startups to work out of, but in true entrepreneur style, that could also mean taking a break sometimes, too. Finally, the chill zone is home to this Italian restaurant called La Felicita. It's considered to be the largest restaurant in Europe. It's open to the public, yet its proximity is a perk for those actually working in Station F. When we ask our startups why they come to Station F, it's not for being in a beautiful building, it's not for paying you know, inexpensive prices, it's actually to be surrounded by a thousand entrepreneurs. Roxanne is the program director for Station F and helped launch the concept in 2017. Everybody here is selected, so we have a certain kind of level of entrepreneur that we have on campus, and they love being able to talk to people that have encountered the same difficulties, um, that have resources, that have contacts, so they're really sharing with each other, and I think that's the main reason resource that you find here. Station F was born around the same time the French president took office, and he emphasized wanting to turn France into a, quote, startup nation. France now has a lot of the elements necessary to actually create new companies. Uh, you have access to a lot of early stage capital. Um, you have a, a lot of talent. Uh, you have a lot of government support. That's Ben. He's a venture capitalist for the firm SOSV. Both um, a really good networking place, a place where business is done, and also a very good symbol of, uh, of France's efforts towards startups. But while the initiative is highly symbolic of the intent for France to take off, whether it proves to be successful or not isn't necessarily guaranteed. What's still missing in the ecosystem are things around uh, skills for growth, uh, maybe marketing skills as well, knowledge of international markets. And uh, the last thing that's also missing, I think, in the environment is uh, the um, habits and knowledge around exits. A lot of startups uh, are being created, but really the proof comes when you have an exit. And most of those exits tend to be M&As rather than IPOs, generally. But Ben says French companies and founders are less familiar with acquisitions, and that may be the final piece they need to keep Station F on track. Hey guys, it's Upton. Thanks for watching. Do you think Station F can help put France on the international startup map? Let us know in the comments below, and also check out more videos here and here, and we'll see you next time.